Now at noon, the investigation into a horrific crash continues. Police say a speeding car lost control and hit a woman who was rollerblading. This afternoon, witnesses are describing to us what they saw. CBS 4's Riel Creighton is live near the scene with the latest in this investigation. Riel. And very few of the people who actually saw this wanted to talk about it on camera. Some of them actually emotional by what they witnessed out here yesterday. There are still skid marks in the road here. You could see the path that that car took before it slammed into this tree over here. The man who owns the business directly behind it telling us that it was so powerful, it actually shook the building. Cell phone video taken in the moment after a violent and bloody crash at 601 Northeast 10th Street in Pompano Beach. So graphic, we can't show it all. Police say a rollerblader, a woman on a nearby walking path, hit and killed, died instantly as a car careened out of control, pieces of it barreling into her before hitting a tree and splitting in two. One half slamming into the fence, the other left in the road. I'm sorry. That's her head and her family. The people that walk and ride on this path daily shaken by what happened, but it's heart stopping for the many who actually saw it. And literally 10 seconds later, I saw the car split in two, uh, bodies laying in the street. Brad Michael among the multiple witnesses who said the car was speeding. Michael describing a vehicle that looked like it was going 100 miles an hour as it passed him. The driver and the passenger, a man and a woman, were both ejected. Others telling CBS4, the woman rollerblading on this path never saw it coming. My thoughts go out to the family of the rollerblader that was minding her own business, just exercising, and, you know, um, uh, if there's any saving grace, I believe she, he or she probably died instantly. And in fact, it was a woman who did die at the scene. Deputies have yet to identify that victim, that rollerblader. Meantime, as of the last update, both the man and the woman who were in that car who were ejected are in critical condition. We're live in Pompano Beach, Riel Creighton, CBS 4 News.